I wanted to uh, uh, test my knowledge and also uh, review content that I have previously studied. So I have a background in technology consulting covering cloud and cybersecurity. And so um, this provided a path for me to uh, to review a lot of material and then keep up to date with new and current material. It helped out in um, my background knowledge. And so as part of the certification, I did the training. And so the training was very helpful. The lab environments were helpful in reviewing and uh, learning. And so that, that was really helpful for uh, dealing with clients and uh, just reviewing. It helped me with the confidence in setting up my own SOC. So I'm in the process of creating my own uh, security operations center for monitoring uh, video games. And so to have that uh, background and that training, it was uh, very helpful. So the content was very good. It was up to date. And I like the part where I can review the material. So that was helpful for me because sometimes I need to rewatch the videos and uh, the, also the different types of learning. And so the, the labs were very helpful and reading the material. So I was doing all three just to be able to have a better understanding and more thorough knowledge of what I was uh, consuming. And so that, that was very helpful. So I, I like the different types of content. I don't have an example of an incident, but it helped me build out some proof concepts. And so I created um, a security operations center proof of concept uh, using uh, different technologies and the, the course of that. I've done over 70 certifications, uh, certificates and badges in IT. And uh, I've done a lot of training to receive all of those certifications. So with EC Council, I like the, the way the content uh, comes in multiple formats. So with the training labs, the, the book material and the videos. Uh, so to me, that was very helpful and in uh, solidifying the knowledge I received and made it a lot more uh, easier to remember everything after the certification. So there's getting the certification and then there's the stuff that happens after the certification. So after the certification, I didn't just forget about everything. It was, it was more uh, solidified, more ingrained and that, that was very helpful. So I, I liked the training. Yeah, the labs were very good. Um, they're very useful if you've never uh, participated in that kind of activity. And so just getting the hands-on in the lab environment, that, that's very helpful in learning and getting exposure. The program covers a broad range of domains in uh, operating in a security operations center and the content's kept up to date. So my background uh, is very strong in the Linux environment. And so uh, this training material also covered Windows environments. Uh, so Windows Server and operating in those kind of environments. So that, that was helpful. So I started software development when I was nine years old and I started from uh, contract consulting. And so I started uh, you know, working on workstations, doing some cybersecurity, selling calculator software. And then I moved into cybersecurity and software development. Uh, I would do both at the same time. And in college, I was doing a lot of contract work. And then now fast forward, you know, 20 years later, uh, I'm doing, I'm running a cybersecurity meetup. I'm doing uh, talks at conferences and then a lot more consulting. I also did the Certified Cybersecurity Technician, the CTT. And so the material was more of a continuation. And so I liked how the format is kind of consistent. So getting the content through the labs, the videos and the books, uh, that, that was very helpful for me in uh, learning and keeping up to date. I would recommend it for uh, IT workforce trying to move into cybersecurity specifically for uh, a SOC environment and the material is very good it's very uh, very broad and detailed 
And so you get the material, multiple formats to help reinforce the learning through the labs, the, the training material, the books, and the videos.